Hi, this is Tom from ZeroDefinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through Ilias. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroDefinals.com slash Ilias or in the general surgery section of the Zero Definals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Ileus is a condition affecting the small bowel, where the normal peristalsis that pushes the contents along the length of the intestines temporarily stops. It may be referred to as paralytic ileus or adynamic ileus. Pseudo-obstruction is a term used to describe a functional obstruction of the large bowel where patients present with intestinal obstruction but no mechanical cause is found. This is different to an ileus which affects the small bowel and also less common than an ileus. Let's talk about the causes of ileus. There's a long list of things that can make the bowel unhappy leading to an ileus. Common causes are injury to the bowel, handling of the bowel during surgery, particularly open surgery, inflammation or infection in or nearby to the bowel, for example peritonitis, appendicitis, pancreatitis or pneumonia, and electrolyte imbalances, for example hypokalemia or hyponatremia, a low potassium or a low sodium. The most common time you will see an ileus is following abdominal surgery. This usually resolves with supportive care within a few days. Let's talk about the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of ileus are similar to large bowel obstruction, with vomiting, particularly green bilious vomiting, abdominal distension, diffuse abdominal pain, absolute constipation and a lack of flatulence, and absent bowel sounds, as opposed to the tinkling bowel sounds that you hear in mechanical obstruction. Let's talk about the management. The ileus will usually resolve with treatment of the underlying cause. Management involves supportive care. Supportive care involves making the patient nil by mouth or limiting them to sips of water, inserting an NG tube if the patient is vomiting, providing IV fluids to prevent dehydration and correct any electrolyte imbalances, mobilising the patient, which can help stimulate peristalsis. And if there's a long wait before the bowel regains function, total parenteral nutrition, or TPN, may be required. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, left a comment, or subscribe to the channel, thank you so much, it really helps. Zero to Finals is not just a YouTube channel. There's also a website with detailed notes, illustrations and questions, an Instagram account where new questions are posted every day to help you test your knowledge, books, flashcards and much more. I also have a personal channel where I share my thoughts and tips on learning medicine and you can find links to everything in the description of this video. See you next time.